Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use a Krika Easy Press 2 to put a sublimation transfer on a t-shirt. Now the thing with sublimation transfers is that you have to use mostly polyester. They will not work on cotton, which is apparently really hard to find in this town that I live in. <laughs> I ended up having to order offline, but I found some that were like 65% polyester because I like the color of them. I didn't want to go full 100% polyester. But anyways, also, I recorded that video yesterday, so my sleeves are going to be different because I was wearing a different shirt. But anyways, enjoy. Okay, so I've got my heat press heating up to 400 degrees. Under the shirt, I just have a piece of aluminum foil to protect the table from any heat damage. <laughs> have my sublimation transfer here. I'm just going to even it up where I think it should be on the shirt. Okay, that sound means that the heat press is heated up. So now all I'm going to do is cover this with a sheet of regular copy paper just like I have on the inside of the shirt. Now I have my timer set on my Krika Easy Press 2 to 60 seconds. I'm just going to set this down. And then press go. I'm just going to add a little bit of pressure since the sublimation transfers require pressure and the heat press I'm using doesn't have an option for different pressure settings. Okay, that was the timer. Now we're just going to pick this up. And voila! Also, I wanted to add a quick disclaimer. Now, I don't recommend putting your heat press in a rolling chair. <laughs> it's definitely not safe. However, that's just the setup that I have right now. So, don't mind that. Don't do it at home. All that good stuff. 
guys thank you for watching if you guys have any more questions to ask me just comment them below like this video if you liked it and be sure to subscribe i will see you guys next time thank you